All right, well, welcome back. It's Friday. That means it's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gurren from Excel is Fun. Question today from YouTube. I want to say it's Isaac007 asked about setting up a scroll bar for percentages. So right here, this 5%, we like to have a scroll bar, a nice little slider, so that way someone can change that input cell and see a different calculation. Now, here's what we have to do in Excel 2007. Go to the Office button. Down here at the bottom, choose Excel Options and then Show Developer tab in the ribbon. All of the uh, form controls and ActiveX controls are back here on the Developer tab. You see we have Insert. There's Form Controls. Mike's going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the ActiveX control. Forms Control, easier to set up. ActiveX Control, a little bit more power. So right here I have the scroll bar. I'm going to draw just a nice big scroll bar in. You can make this whatever size you'd like. And now you notice that we are automatically in design mode. That allows us to adjust the scroll bar, and I want to go into properties. A couple of settings we're going to change here. I'm interested in the min, the max, small change, large change. So the min is zero. That's perfect. Max, I'm going to have the max go up to 18.9%, and I'm going to enter that as 189 because these values have to be integers. You can't put decimals in there. So a min of zero, max of 189, and I'm going to make the large change be in increments of 10. So every time we do a large change, it's going to go up by 1%, and then the small change is great there as an increment of 1. Finally, I'm going to put the result of this, the link cell, right here in cell D1. Really, I'd put it out in Z1, but let's just put it here in D1 so we can see where it is. D1, and we are good to go. So I'll close the properties window, exit design mode, and you see how this works. Um, when I click here between the slider and the end, it goes up by 10, that's the large change. When I click on the actual arrow, it goes up by 1, that's the small change. And of course, people can just use the slider here to make it all work. Now, the last piece of this is that we can say that we want to use cell equal D1 divided by 1,000. Um, so there's 6.2%. 6.3%, 6.4%, or I can just grab the slider and very easily get that number. It's great for people that aren't keyboard people, they're mouse people, they can just very simply come in, in here. Now, the real power, I think, is in these ActiveX controls, we can actually write some VBA behind the scenes. So I'm going to come in and say View Code, and initially they have something here called scroll, scroll Bar 1 Change. What I could say is let's see where that percentage is that percentage is in cell b4 i could say range b4 dot value is equal to scroll bar one dot value divided by a thousand and then i wouldn't have to use a link cell at all um, it's going to be exit design mode it's going to be directly written in this cell we can get rid of that link cell all together. It's also interesting, you'll notice here that as I scroll, um, that VBA is not firing. So you see in cell D1, the link cell is updating, um, but because I'm using VBA to write B4 there, it doesn't change until I let go. So let's take a look at some other values we have here. Scroll bar 1, we could also say that I want to see the scroll action, and here we can say range B4 is equal to the scroll, and that's a slight improvement because now as I move that, it's automatically going to be updated in the individual cell. Great way to go. So that's an ActiveX control. You can write some VBA. You can see there at the beginning by being a little bit clever and writing uh, you know, a number that's a thousand times larger than I want it to be and using a formula here. It was all working out. Uh, a much easier way to go, though, I think, is the forms control. We're going to send that over to Mike, and Mike will show you how to do this with a forms control. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, you got to love that VBA. You do your active X control, write a little VBA, and then you don't need that helper cell. Now, for a form, I'm going to have to use a helper cell. Ah, but I won't have to write any VBA code. Hey, I'm going to copy this, point to the edge here, and then uh, right-click and drag down here, and then the pop-up menu, I'll say copy here. Now we go to the same place, and, and by the way, this scroll with VBA, you got to have that .xlsm, that M on the end. You don't want to use the .xlsx, because that doesn't allow VBA. Hey, but if you uh, have a .xlsx, 
or you don't want to do VBA, then we'll do the forms. We come down here, there's the scroll button, click, scroll bar, click and drag, and then I'm going to right click and go to Format Control. And sure enough, uh, there is current value, minimum, maximum, I'll do exactly the same, 189. Incremental change 1, uh, page change, that's large change, is 10, and I'll link it to say uh, this cell right here. Click OK. Now, as I click off to the side, and now as I click here, you can see it's incrementing a large change by 10. If I click here, it's jumping up by 1. Then I come here, equals that cell right there, divided by 1,000. So now you can see, boom, boom, boom. It's working just fine, 10%, and then here's our small change. So definitely uh, ActiveX Control, VBA, great, because you don't need that helper cell, but be sure and do the .xlsm. Uh, otherwise, the form scroll bar right there, pretty straightforward for those of us who are not good at VBA. All right, we'll see you next trick. Hey, Mike, I think the uh, forms control is the way to go. You know, I just reopened this file to record the closing here, get the security warning that some ActiveX uh, content has been disabled. So by using the forms control, it doesn't get the uh, the workbook at, marked as a macro workbook, and you don't have to worry about all of these uh, hassles. So great way to go. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. On behalf of Mike and myself, we'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast.